Hello Kerbal Nauts and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program and this time we are taking a plane to lathe. We're taking a plane, not a space plane, into space and taking it to lathe. Where there's an oxygen atmosphere, an oxygen atmosphere, if I can get that out and breathe some oxygen and then we're going to fly around. This plane has been gifted to me by, by Akrof Kerman, as you can see the Kerbal in there. I, this is someone called Akrof on my Discord server and she gave me this plane I thought it was cool and uh, she challenged me to take it to the dual system. Although I do fail in the primary mission that I was intended to do with it. Okay, let's talk about the build itself. You can see, obviously we've got two booster rockets that'll get into orbit and start it on its way to dual. And then we have nuclear engines on the center core and you can see we've sandwiched the space plane in between them it's not a space plane it's a normal plane but basically it floats in space now with the transfer stage you can see i've got five engines in it i had to add the ff engine to balance the thrust although the thrust will change as soon as we use those engines because the liquid fuel doesn't seem to drain uniformly okay now that we're on our transfer stage part of the mission we have to first use the liquid engines to boost up to a particular orbit and then we use the nuclear engines to finish it. Basically it's a two burner. If you were going to plot a course to duel and you did not have enough thrust to do it all in one go. In other words, it's going to take a 10 minute burn but you split it up into two five minute burns. And this in fact is a bit more efficient because you're not wasting your burns on either side of the maneuver node that you've created to get to duel. And anyway, now that we're on our way, the intrepid Kerbals, which I believe is Akrof Kerman, Jeb Kerman, and Bob Kerman, or is it Bill? It's the engineer, because I didn't think the scientist was that important. Now that we have arrived at Jewel, first things first, you need to get into an orbit. Okay, when you get to Jewel, what you want to do is the minimum amount of burn for you to get into highly elliptical orbit. And with that, as you can see, you can use the highly elliptical orbit to get yourself close to the orbit of the other planets, in other words, raise the periapsis I've done here. There's probably more efficient ways of doing this. But then once you do that, you can use the gravity of the other moons as a slingshot gravity breaking. As you see, if we pass that moon, we would get a lower orbit around Joule. We don't want that. But once you've maneuvered enough, you will find that you save a lot more fuel into getting into orbit around the moon that you want to get to well basically that's the best way i can explain it on a short notice time span that i've done for this video and what i'm doing here i'm lowering my orbit basically the last bit of this i am going to use aero braking to get myself into orbit highly elliptical orbit around lathe now all this was to make sure that we don't use too much fuel we didn't have enough fuel to get a direct encounter with lathe and get into orbit because that takes ridiculous amount of delta V. Okay, not ridiculous amount of delta V, but I like to sort of like build more efficient designs, which is probably not that efficient because the design of it. Anyway, using the aero braking, we've got ourselves into orbit. Now I'm using it a couple of times more. That's just so low the orbit. That reduces the amount of delta V to get into a low orbit and makes it a lot easier for us to get our not space plane on into the lathe's atmosphere if you get my meaning now i did think what i could have done with this design to improve it was make the plane so it could come back into space redock or transfer the curls back to the spacecraft and then send them back to kerbin kerbin however i did not have enough delta v to get back to kerbin so these kerbals are stranded on lathe until i send a rescue mission uh, <laughs> they'll be lucky <laughs> but basically, I did not have enough time to design this properly. As you can see, it's just a mishmash of everything, but it works, which is awesome. What happened was I designed this to be carried in... Well, I designed a space plane to carry the plane, not space plane, into orbit around Kerbin. It sort of worked. It was able to get into orbit. However, due to the space plane, the way I designed it... It was basically a hollowed out middle section and the not space plane that we're trying to land here was sitting inside it and because there had a lot of open parts in it it caused a lot of aerodynamic drag on the space plane so 
it was not that efficient. Therefore, it failed as a failed design. Now, I'm not good at building, building space planes. However, I've had experience in building non-efficient space planes. Like my moon space station space plane. Basically, that would that space plane would go to the man and then transform into a space station, which then would have probes that could land on the surface to refuel itself. The design worked, however, it was very inefficient because there was so much aerodynamic drag on that space station transforming space plane that, well, basically, it was something that it'd be easier to send in multiple launches by rocket. Hence why space planes are not efficient because you're dragging a load of excess weight when you get into space. Anyway, back to the video, back from my ramblings on. And this space, not space plane, looks like it's going to explode. I do have to say though, this space, this not space plane looks epic. It looks like a sort of fiery bird re-entering the atmosphere with its wings and its tail jutting out. Should have got better screenshots of it, but hey. It does look cool. Perhaps I'll use this as a thumbnail. The fiery space plane, that not space plane. <laughs> anyway, it looks like we are surviving the re-entry. So, yes, Akroff, you are gonna land on Lave. You're not gonna get away from Lave, but hey, you're gonna land. <laughs> With this design that Akroff has given me, it seems to fly at low speeds, I think about 40, perhaps less, meters per second you can take off from. Now this space, this not space plane, flies at low speeds as well, so I think it was about 200 meters per second on average at around sea level when I was testing it out. And also the nose seemed to try to pitch up when you were traveling at full thrust, which is a bit annoying sometimes, because when I went into fast higher time acceleration, physics time acceleration, the nose would just pitch up and we'd just climb and climb and climb, especially when we were coming towards land. You can see by here I'm trying to alter it because every time I tried to turn it would just nose up. However, for a design that makes sure that you're flying at low speeds and you're not going to crash most of the time, and it's very maneuverable. So I have to give this a thumbs up with slight alterations, it can be perfect. Now I have to admit that I made a bit of an error with this. I should have planned up where the land was going to be and then re-entered the atmosphere so we'd come close to land. This took me about almost 10 minutes of flying just to find this land. And with the volumetric clouds as well, especially in the map mode, it was difficult to find out where the land was. I had to keep on going to the, the map view and then just try to clip the camera inside the planet on the moon so that I could find out where the land was so I'd fly in the right direction and not continuously fly over ocean. If you haven't been to Lathe, it's mostly ocean, so yeah, you'd have to really make an ocean landing base of some kind or an ocean landing space plane, which has been done. But there's, the land is minimum and the only thing that I hate about the land on Lathe is that it's lumpy. Now there's hardly any flat spaces and that's why I'm heading towards, you can see the flattest area over there, but as you can see, well as you will see, that it's not completely flat. Now there might be a few spots that you could build a base or something, but it's just really annoying. I just wish there was a mod in KSP that you could download and you could sort of like edit the terrain that you land near. I'm sure it's possible because this isn't going to be uploaded to someone, a server that someone else can use. Although I'm not entirely sure if it is possible because the planets are fixed. Perhaps you'd need to have a planet pack where terrain was alterable rather than stock planets and moons. I don't know. Your thoughts would be helpful on that. Anyways, let's land this thing. As I said, we're about 40 meters per second and we didn't stall, which makes this plane awesome at low speeds. Now let's land, break. Because as, as I said, we've landed here, but it's still a slope. 
The first slope that I landed on here, which I had to taxi away from, the brakes wouldn't work, wouldn't stop us completely because it was too much of a slope. So that's why we had to taxi near the ocean. Anyway, let's get the Kerbals out. First of all, Akrof. Now, Akrof, you can take off your helmet because there's oxygen in this atmosphere. Uh, I'm not sure if you have any other chemicals would actually kill you that's in the atmosphere, so perhaps taking your helmet off was a bad idea. But you seem to be surviving, all of you do look a little green. Now, I'm not sure with you two, what is the best way to take a screenshot? Do you get Kerbal? Is it supposed to have people's faces? Perhaps Kerbal faces in it? To make it appeal to people or awesome vehicles or um, I don't know just an epic landscape perhaps it depends on the video itself probably title is not space plane to lathe and I yeah <laughs> I included this reduce the ambient light to get a bit picture come on stop sliding off <laughs> I think we need better treads on those space boots that you have, Jebediah and Bob. Anyway, as we are here, landed and stranded, we might as well get the Kerbals on, I don't know, a mission of some kind. Do some science, just walk around, take some Instagram pictures, upload them to Reddit. Because that's what you do with Instagram. You take pictures, you upload them to Reddit, link them to Twitter and whatever else you want to do, and then send links to all your friends and say hey look at me i'm so awesome hey anyway, guys thanks for watching i'm orbiter see you next time